you know, I like to show y'all, you no know, look up information, and this is about Javion, okay? Everybody asking the question, why would they cut his nails? Now, on the way, a person, okay, let's go this route. I said this quote. I said, did the autopsy people cut his nails? Or did the people, the, the reason why I said the autopsy people must have been the one cut his nails because nobody else mentioned nothing about his nails until the autopsy. Now, there can be many reasons why the autopsy medical examiner would clip a deceased person's fingernails. And he called a number of reasons. For instance, evidence. Now, ask yourself, did the, uh, the medical examiner cut his nails? Huh? Instead of, you know, let's, let's find some evidence. If the medical examiner cut his, you know, clipped his nails, they looking for forensics evidence. The fingernails can contain valuable forensics information such as DNA from a predator for, for um, of an assault homicide. Okay, so we can look at that. The reason if the medical examiner are the ones that cut the nail. Okay, two, external examination. Fingernails are one of the many external surfaces of the body that are examined during an autopsy. Other examples include hair samples, gunshot residue, fiber, paint chips, and any other for, uh, foreign objects, okay? Fingernails are resistant to decay and easy to access uh, but they are uh, seldom used for genetics information. Now, now going back up here for forensic evidence, DNA. Now, y'all remember, y'all remember uh, O.J. Simpson when they found uh, somebody doing the murder scene clipped the DNA, their DNA off of her nails. They clipped her nails, but the situation between her and the difference between her, okay. The difference between her and JV on uh, McGee is I didn't hear the uh, forensic, uh, the autopsy saying that by his nails were chipped. But uh, if they were chipped, somebody was trying to hide their DNA. Okay, and when they do that, then it's somebody close to them. Okay? Now, a lot of y'all don't know nothing about this case, or y'all never heard nothing about this case, so I'm going to give you a clip of the news, okay? But I wanted to come here because of uh, you all that uh, social media has out that the nail would clip. And I gave y'all, I found some information. I did my own research on why would the nails be chipped? And then you come thinking about, uh, you know, I gave y'all two incidents that Nicole Brown Simpson nails were cut like that in a murder scene. Now, you have to have time to sit there and they put all the nails out. That's a person who don't want to be identified. But they didn't say that about J.V. on the nails. But that's why I went to autopsy, okay? But listen to this. man was found dead in Vance County at the base of a tree with a rope around his neck. His name is JVN McGee. Many of you reached out to us after a TikTok video went viral. WRO's Destiny Patterson has been digging into his death and joins us live from Vance County. Destiny, you spoke to the sheriff today. What do we know about law, about this crime, about this case from law enforcement? Just in the last 20 minutes, we've gotten a search warrant that gives us more insight into this investigation. A representative for the family says that Javion McGee was a truck driver, and I'm told that trucks often park here while making deliveries at a nearby Walmart distribution center. The sheriff said that McGee was found outside of a fenced area of this business, and they say that they found him at the base of a tree with a rope around his neck. 
21-year-old Javion McGee stopped through Vance County as part of his job as a truck driver. That's a long way from where he lived in Illinois. Deputies found him dead Wednesday under a tree with a rope wrapped around his neck. We have a lot of questions. Not now, the sheriff was telling y'all that he wants y'all to understand he know more than what he knows, but he can't put it out there, okay? Everything can't be out there. So I think that he just should have just told him right now they don't have anything to, instead of explaining something to someone, just tell them that you don't have uh, uh, enough evidence to uh, speak on it. But I appreciate you interested in, he's, he's been kind of like Mr. Uh, uh, Houseman, what is his name? Uh, Taylor House. It's Phil, Phil, you know, don't, don't appreciate how the sheriff is speaking to him, but uh, about, he don't have to give him no information. He doesn't have to give Taylor no information at all because he's, no part of the family, okay? Uh, and uh, the family is supposed to have a, a an attorney. And it's a lot of people, okay? And who I am. And my thought that anyone, regardless of their race, would list in Vance County, I would have it all over national news. When we got there, he was sitting with his back up against the tree on the ground. It's something common we would say and we would call a, a jail, suicide, or homicide where a person does not have... Now, he shouldn't have went that far. I think it was a no-no for him to either... Uh, for him to even identify a situation like that to the news, not to the people. When you put the news out there, you're giving it to the people. And... The jail seen a lot of things that can happen like that, but he shouldn't explain that. It went and with that, took that, you know, went that far, but people gonna look at it differently. Height to hang or dangle. McGee's family says they were told surveillance footage showed McGee buying a rope from Walmart. The sheriff says they're still looking into that. He says the medical examiner's office will officially determine the cause of death. Mom. Okay. You know, I, I, uh, that's just everything I say is allegedly. And like I said, y'all, I believe, uh, a lot lizard set him up and, and with, with some, you know, it's, 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 to me, it's more like some people set him up, not the police, but some, um, first of all, the trucking company. They need to check into that trucking company because they know that they gave that son a route. It's just like getting a bus driver a route to some bad, to some, uh, not we ain't gonna call the kids bad. They said don't call the kids bad. To some rude kids. Are just kids. You go. They'll give you a bus route, not letting you know that how those kids act on that route. But it's determined up to the bus driver and the parents. Just so this is just like uh, giving him a trucking route that don't nobody want. Man ain't going through that. Man ain't going through. So you gonna give it to a new fella who don't know that area. So that's why I said a lot lizard. He met a lot lizard from Henderson could allegedly not be from there, from Vance County, where he parked that truck. So as he was coming through Henderson, somebody wanted a ride. And I allegedly, if if they did, if it didn't happen like that, he met a lot lizard when he made all them different stops. And with truck drivers, they run into these lot lizards, y'all. But the thing is, this just can't be over with like that. And nobody should be, 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 uh, no sheriff department should get upset with somebody who want answers 
you know, still talk nice to the person. At least the sheriff should, should be glad that somebody is concerned about his kind. Okay? So he told Mr. Taylor not to call him no more because he put the information out on TikTok. Now, being an officer, you should have known what come out your mouth might end up on the social media. But my thing is this, y'all. Don't live, don't lift off, don't come off of this. Don't stay on it. Stay on it. Stay on it. Don't let nothing scare you from this uh, uh, case. Stay on it. Now, y'all, this is what, 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 uh, Check me out. Uh, yeah, this lady don't know nothing about J.B. McGee. She went all the way out for him. Flowers probably didn't cost that much because I know the balloon was like $3. So she should have spent almost like uh, probably a good $20. But something about this girl right here. And how she know the daddy? How she know his father? Where she get the father phone number from? She said she spoke with the father. Okay, so she decided to talk to Taylor House. And I don't want one, one thing about me. I don't, I don't believe people. I don't believe people what they say. They say what they want to say. I, I just don't. It's something about how she know the dad. So let me ask you something. She called the father. I ain't never seen nobody at the crime scene or say that I called the father and I talked to the father. And I told the father I was going to come over here and put something around the tree. So how she know that daddy, daddy ain't put his number, phone number up on the, uh, on the internet. How she know, y'all? How she know the father? So did JV um father know some people in, uh, North Carolina? In, uh, Henderson? Cause this girl, ain't like, she don't talk to him so more than one time. I'm just saying. Trying to figure it out too. And the man who you hear talking is, uh, the man you hear talking is, uh, that's Taylor House. That's the man who doing the case, you know. This lady don't spend, I'm just saying. Why is he, she close to, to the daddy? How is she, why, how is she talking to the daddy and know so much? Who is she? Who is really is she? Stop, Camper. Oh, excuse me, y'all. <laughs> My dog. And why would he share any information with this girl right here? It's questions needs to be answered. But y'all so afraid of Vance County. Vance County is the sun down this and sun down that. But you're not afraid to go over there and put no uh, the step foot in. You say you're from Henderson, but you're not from Vance County. 
and you're not afraid. Y'all saying so much about Vance County, but y'all still are going around them people. I don't know about her. I don't know. But how you know, he, he ain't did nothing like that to himself. You're right, he didn't. Y'all did it. Somebody did it. Somebody set that young man up and let some boyfriends or let some people do this to him. Allegedly. Somebody did something to him. But I think it was some, he got hold to some, uh, the wrong set of lizard, lot lizards. It probably was a lot, a lot of lizards upset because he didn't get them that card number. And, and, and they, they saw him, uh, they know that he gave that money to uh, uh, to a homeless man and didn't get them no money at their hand. Y'all know how it is. Y'all know what I ain't, I'm trying to really say instead of a lot of lizards, but we're going to respect it. I don't know about her. That lady know more than what she's standing right here talking about. Something on her conscience. Something she didn't mean for them to do them that way. She's talking and telling, but she's not talking and telling. Now, she's not from around in Vance. So why is she over there in Vance? I know that happened to him, but still, she from Henderson. So did he pick her up? Or did she know somebody that he picked up? Coming through Henderson in Vance. You know, sometimes, y'all, people use, use what they involve in and know we going to think that somebody, them people in Vance did it. You know what people they trying to say did it. Racism come among, among your own people. You know what I mean? Your own people can be have racism against you. So what she's saying is still not telling me why she out there putting the balloons and all that and how she got in touch with the daddy. And I don't even know the father's phone number. And the daddy, she telling the daddy what she did. Why she called and telling the daddy what she did. Who is this woman? Who is really this woman right here? Look, she said that was recently and she got two boys and they talking about they wouldn't help her. Okay. Nothing, 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 nothing. Something going on here, y'all. People do what they got to do to take care of their kids. People do what they got to do to take care of kids. A lot of women have habits and Javion didn't cooperate, and you're going to pay up, Javion. Since you ain't going to pay up, we're going to do what we got to do to you. That That's a, a, a drug fest, a drug fest neighborhood over there. And that's where all the lot lizards like to hang out around truck drivers, y'all. I'm telling them, because they know them truck drivers uh, is going to in and out that state. They're not going to be there long, but so happened. Uh, 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 
Javion got trapped with a lot lizard that involved a lot of people in his crime. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Shout out to uh, Taylor House. Taylor House. That man is on day, but you keep doing a good job. Keep doing what you do. Okay, y'all go over there to his channel. He got so much on JV on. And I just want to keep keep the awareness out there. You know what I mean? Let's keep it going. But man, y'all truck driver got to be careful out there, man. Y'all in a state that y'all in a county that y'all don't even know nothing about. And yet, only thing y'all want to do is drive through and drive back, right? And, and that was something I'm going to do, y'all. But this happened. This young man didn't even make it out of there. Cause of a lot, Lizzie. I ain't talking about her. I'm talking about anybody. Okay, your kids ain't going through nothing. You going through something. When we have kids, we got we can't. It, you know, we go through something. I have the kids. What are you doing? Something else behind this story, y'all. So, this is another scene, y'all. I went to Damn Unique channel, and she said that uh, uh, y'all can see she put she the one decorate this street. Nobody but her. And why did she? My thing is she went to decorate this tree, but you can't just put the flower on any tree, you're supposed to put the flower and balloon on the tree that it happened. Okay, so she said she wanted to show her love to Javion. And she's going to st stick to her story. But listen, I don't understand the video. Listen. <laughs> no word, but anyway, how y'all doing? As y'all know, I am Dami Unique on Facebook, and I am here right now at the Innocent Police Department, which we had just left Blue Line, and we was in there shopping, and we had got called, uh, you know, black niggers and stuff like that. The lady literally told my son to move his black ass out of the way. And then call him a nigger too. When we was up there, we literally got put out just because I defended my kids. This is not only the first incident, not only the second incident, but the third incident. The second incident was I went to the public library, as y'all can see. And I also was called out because a man was there threatening me right there, telling me that he would kill me right at the library. The officer got there, which he laughed in my face. He laughed in my face. And didn't even give me the suspect name, didn't follow me to the um, police department or master officer to give me anything. He gave me a name. Y'all, I just hope that uh, Javion McGee family get justice because it's too much. It's too much said about him. And uh, we just have need to stick on it. If, if, uh, Taylor House Publishing, you know, put it out there. You know, we need to take it to the next step for him on our platforms. But I hope the family get just for him. Uh, man, I mean, tell me what y'all think. Y'all like, share, and subscribe to the channel and join the channel, please. And uh, you like to throw donate to the channel, you send it to my super chat. And y'all, I appreciate you all for listening and share your opinion about what happened to the person. Don't worry about my opinion. My opinion is my opinion. I want to hear from y'all. Your opinion matters, okay, about what happened to this young man. I'm out.